You're listening to the all new Blessed Beats Radio, and you're tuned into the Not So Christian in Me Show, the show that is faith based, edgy, and funny, where we let everything out on the table without shame and a no judgment zone, so that we are able to help each other be better Christians. What's up, what's up? It's Southern Girl Denise, the host of the Not So Christian in Me Show. How you guys doing out there? Thank you guys for tuning in. Today we have a special guest in the building, Mr. Jerome Covington. What's going on, Jerome? What's up? What's up? I'm about to pull you in now. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> we in here. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> thank you so much for being our guest today. I really appreciate it. Oh, now, thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs> now, before we get started, we always ask our guests to play a little game to warm warm yourself up a little bit. So okay. today, today's game is tell me two truth and a lie. One lie. And I will have mm. to guess which one is the lie. So go mm. for it. Let me see if I can guess the right answer. Okay. Uh, let's see. I live. Let's see. Uh See, I lived in China for two years. I've, um, let's see, visited Italy. I've been to Italy and uh, I was born in Alaska. Mm. I was going to go with China at first, but then mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go with the born in Alaska because I know where you were because I know where you were born at. <laughs> so you almost had me on that one. <laughs> which one is the lie? Tell the world which one. Uh, uh, born in Alaska. <laughs> I figured that one. Yeah, yeah, you're I, actually from San Diego, where my cousin Yolan is from. Well, yeah. Well, I'm from San Diego, but I was born in Hawaii. Oh, I didn't know that part. Yeah. So oh, six wow. six weeks six weeks after I was born, we moved to San Diego. Okay. Yeah, wow. and that's where I grew up my childhood. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you see have family out there? Uh, not not blood family. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my blood family is uh, in the Dallas area, um, mm -hmm. but uh, we have a lot of close friends. Oh, okay. They're okay. like family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, next up, we have our blessing segment. And basically to um, our viewers, I always ask my guests to talk about one of their blessings of the week. So, mm -hmm. Jerome, what would be one of your blessings of the week? I'm grateful to still have a job. <laughs> a lot of people losing their jobs. Um, so true. One of the two industries that are, you know, popping right now is education and, and the medical field. Exactly. And speaking of education, you educator, right? Right. Right, wow. I teach. Uh, I teach English as a second language in a oh. in a in a co on the college level. Okay, now are you um, teaching online as well? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, and it's yeah. Uh, it's an adjustment. <laughs> yeah, because um, with your position, I I think you told me before that you work pretty much all year round, right? Oh yeah, right. It's not a tradit. We don't we don't uh, we're we're not on a traditional schedule. So yeah. So it's, um, yeah, it's every, oh really yeah, no breaks. <laughs> well, well, ha well, happy, happy, happy teacher appreciation week for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's my blessing of the week. I made it to uh, teacher appreciation week. So that's my blessing. Okay. okay. But um, I haven't really participated in any specials like they would normally send me like different email specials for different restaurants, but I haven't mm -hmm. really, I haven't received anything. Have you received anything like uh -uh. that? No. Yeah, normally I, I jump on top of that, but I guess due to with the COVID-19 situation, right. they, they haven't really been promoting different deals and stuff. I think, is, business, yeah. Yeah, I think businesses are, are trying to just get back on their feet right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying yeah, to get back up and running even, right now. Yeah, They're not even thinking about the different okay. days of the week because it's also um, Nurse Week. Oh, and wow. And then Travel Agent Week. I'm a travel agent, so I'm celebrating. Okay, right, right. Week. 
and I'm celebrating Teacher Appreciation Week. I ain't come, really do nothing, but I'm still honored to be celebrated on. Come on, on multi talent. Right. Okay. <laughs> today we're probably going to be talking about being multi talented and how you're able to balance all of that. But before mm-hmm. we jump into that, um, I like to go over a Bible scripture that kind of pertains to our career. And okay. this week's Bible um scripture comes comes from First Corinthians twelve twenty eight. Mm-hmm. And 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 God has placed in the church first of all apostles, second mm-hmm. prophets, third teachers. Woo, woo. Mm-hmm. Come on, teachers. Miracles, then gifts of healing, of helping, of guidance, and of different kinds of tongues. So I'm ble- we are blessed to be part of part of part of those gifts that God gave us be, be, being teachers. So right. I'm I'm like. Thankful and, and grateful at the same and time. And it's a twofold calling, spiritually and, you know, something within the world, right? So true. Both. Right. So it's right. powerful. Yeah. What we do very is powerful. very powerful. <laughs> That's true. That yeah. is so true. Yeah, God gives us different gifts. And I, like I said, I thank God for the gift of teaching. Mm-hmm. Amen. Didn't know I had it. <laughs> right, right. I didn't know I had it. I've only been teaching for the last, uh, what, six six years now? Okay. Okay. Yeah. You you right behind me then. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah, we start. We're late bloomers. <laughs> right. <laughs> it don't it don't matter long as you long as you stay hang in there. You know. Right. Now, Get if anybody there. wants uh, now if anybody wants a prayer request, I'm getting ready to um type in the link for your prayer request in the chat box. So if anybody wants a prayer request, uh oh. I need to go back to it, but I, I, I'm gonna I'm put in the chat box a link for a prayer requests if you guys want want a prayer requests. Okay. Sure, do that. Definitely. Always time for prayer. Okay. Now that Come we on. got <laughs> right, now that we got all our praises out of the way, let's get to the nitty gritty. The nitty gritty. Yes. Who is Jerome Covington? So spill the beans. Tell us who you are. Well, Jerome Covington, aka J mm-hmm. Speaks the Poet. Huh. He is a teacher. He is a motivator. He is a spoken word artist. He is a rapper. Okay. He is a um, activist for domestic domestic violence. Um, um, he is a uh, what else? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, there. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, and just a a a, a person, I, I I really want people to know that I'm a even though, um, you know, I have all of these things going on, mm-hmm. I'm always a person to um to easily approach. That's good. You know, I'm um uh, I had an experience at an event one time doing poetry. And you know when you're when you're in the entertainment and you know you gotta you know you gotta put on the look and you you know your stage presence mm-hmm. and so after after uh you know after my performance I'm mingling with people in the crowd and uh somebody approached me and Yolan me and Yolan were doing the event <laughs> together and yeah. they approached us and was like well we didn't know we didn't really know if we could come and say anything to you because we didn't know um how you would respond or how you re- react and we were looking me and him both were looking at this person like really yeah. <laughs> like we look unapproachable so <laughs> i want people to understand that i'm 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 very mindful of how to treat others, regardless of the status or level that other people think I'm on. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder wonder why people feel that way sometimes, that they feel that that mm -hmm. that an artist is not approachable. Society and what we see. What we see, the media. the media, Mm -hmm. The media portrays celebrity as uh, this level that's unachievable. Yeah. And because it's un because because we feel like it's unachievable, we feel like we're not worthy to even be in the presence of those who have achieved it, or right. or those we think have achieved it. You know, so uh, please don't look. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> we we'll probably look at it um, in terms of 
so many other artists have right. to them, and so they feel uncomfortable, you know, approaching the comparison. You. And I'm and yeah. I'm very honored by the comparisons that mm -hmm. I do get. Um, however, because of the purpose of because I have a purpose for what I'm doing, my 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 purpose is to engage with the people, you know. Okay. So uh, please come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Please. Now, speaking of comparison, mm -hmm. uh, speaking of comparison, what sets you apart from other artists? Uh, hmm. I stay in my lane. <laughs> I stay yeah. I stay in my lane uh, and uh you can't put me you can't put me in a box uh, so part of my part of my part of the theme of my next project that I'm that I'm releasing is is centered around yeah. it, it's centered around that like people think they know me People think they know Jerome. People think they know Jay Speaks, and they and they don't. There's so there's so many facets to me, and there's other and there's other facets that God hasn't even revealed yet. So uh, I'm still learning, and He's still revealing. So it's it's some more it's some more um, it's some more aspects of, of me that's going to come out probably in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so. People, people try to put me. People have tried to put me because I've been doing poetry since 2008. So people have tried to put me in that poetic box. So when I came out and started rapping, it was like, "What? Wait a minute!" <laughs> and then he's actually, and then it actually sounds good too. Like, "Whoa, wait, where is this coming from?" Yeah. Right? And so, uh, yeah, you can't. There's, <laughs> they, they, they have to, they have to, def they have to uh, define a whole nother category for me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you say they put you, when you say they put you in a box, have you dealt with uh, producers that try to mm. create a sound for you based on that box that they're trying to put you in? They may have thought about it, but they've never, they've never, you know, they've never brought it to me or said anything to me. But they probably thought about it, but they can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, they can't because uh, I don't know when 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 I don't I totally and this is probably hard for a lot of people to believe, even Christians. But I mm -hmm. when I say I totally put all of my talents and my gifts in his hands. Like I mean that I don't I don't write a song. I don't I don't I'm not perfect in this area, but mm -hmm. but for the most part, I don't make any moves artistically or anything unless you know until I until I consult God about how and and what to do and which yeah. direction I should go in. And that's why people can't put me in a box because you definitely can't put God in a box. Huh. Amen. In the way God I move God doesn't move like we move. So hmm. when people see how I move and 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 they see that I'm still moving forward and I'm still progressing as an artist, it it makes people scratch their heads. <laughs> and wow, how you managed to pull this off? Right, right. With with and those that know me say, well, you got all this other stuff going on too, and it's like, man, I can't even explain it to you. I just do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. When you have a passion for something, you just go after it. You know, you just go go towards it. You don't right. even think about it. You know, especially when it's a gift from that's God. It. You don't have time to be questioning it. You better go when God opened that, that door. You better it. start running. You know. So des describe that's your now my will. Mm -hmm. No, go ahead. No, I was gonna say not my will, but his his will be mm -hmm. done. You know and. A lot of times we can't wrap our minds around what his will and his purpose is, but we just move forward and eventually we'll see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of people get stuck at, you know, because they mm -hmm. try to lean to their own understanding instead of, you know, leaning towards God. And that's where we fall right. short a lot of times on that. Right. 
Right, so, uh, right. Describe um describe your type of sound. What type of music? Describe describe it. Um I would say right now it's a mixture of uh, up tempo yet uh something you can ride to mm -hmm. so that 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 ride that riding music but yet yeah uh that that uh that up tempo a mixture of that up tempo high energy um a lot of people say I still sound like Houston. I know it's not all my music. Some of my some of my songs mm -hmm. sound sound like Houston because I've been here so long. <laughs> but it's a <laughs> mixture. Like I've lived in so many different places, so my style may jump from one uh, one type to the next. It just depends on uh, you know. It depends on the track. You know, it depends mm -hmm. on the beat. Uh, poetically. Now that's that's as far as my music. It's a mixture of, you know, uh, you know, laid back, southern style, uh, with a mixture of maybe Midwest that Midwest up tempo type style. Definitely, definitely West Coast influenced. Um, now as far as my poetry, uh, my poetry is like high energy, in your face. Uh, yeah. Just okay. simply put, high energy in your face <laughs> poetry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen you perform um, at an event. And I was and I was shocked because I was like, "Wait a minute! I thought you rap." And then you, because I thought you was getting ready to rap at the event at, at the Speak Out event. And all of a sudden, you start spinning that poetry. I'm like, "Wait a minute! Now. I didn't know you see, that's a, see that's and see that's another thing. So mm -hmm. I've been like I said, I've been doing poetry since 2008. So mm -hmm. when you got so when you started noticing me, I had started yeah. rapping. Right. <laughs> and you didn't even know I did poetry. See, you know, so that's, poetry. that's the that's the mixture of the audience that mm -hmm. that that is uh you know in my fan base now. So man, that's that's amazing. That so, is, yeah. it is how they like work hand in hand together. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, we have a video clip of your um music video. We're gonna okay. play that now.
sun say for the gods if the sun queen had sun shot and wanna see but the lord had mercy on my soul even in the midst of queen trying to run things yeah and i feel the pressure pain and the persecution but i gotta really keep it moving shine the light in the city of houston maybe shooting guns and the mother's eye prostitute i i i i can't go back can't go back to the way it used to be before your spirit came and changed me transits transform rearrangement proceed in the promise of god i'm walking yeah, by faith yeah, in christ yeah. the one that came to save me even when i don't understand god's plan i'ma stay right here i'ma stay right here even when they don't feel good oh lord i'ma stay right here i'ma stay right here even when they looking at me funny like i should be living and it don't make sense that it's stepping in my blessed word of god is my weapon i'ma keep it out stretch i'ma do it to the end no way been through too much to turn around All right, all right. You came a long way. I was <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. I like that. So what what inspired you to write that write those lyrics? Man, uh reflect. I was I was um you know, God had me in a God had me in a place where I was reflecting on my life. You know, you get you get to a certain age where you look back over your life. And uh man, you just think about how far broad how far God brought you and, mm -hmm. and, and you start, uh, evaluating and, and really seeing, you know, the little things that you didn't notice at the time God was doing to keep you, to protect you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he was really, he took, he took me back to really remind me that, and also teach me how much he loves me, how much he has kept me over the years mm -hmm. and to build, to build up my faith, to move forward with confidence. Yeah. I kind of you know, in, in the, in the, in the things that he has for me in the future. So, so because, you know, God gives us ideas that are bigger than, than us. Right. And so if we don't have the confidence at least to move forward, then nothing will not, you know, nothing God puts on us to do will get accomplished. So he has to let us know that I kept you and blessed you all these years mm -hmm. and I still got you. So let's, so let's go, right. <laughs> you know? And so, um, and not only that, but my friend that was in the video with me, he's a, he's a pastor of a end time movement outreach church okay. in, on the South side of Houston. And, uh, he was also reflecting on his life this, just to show you how God works. Put y'all together. I wanted to put somebody on the song and I didn't know who. And I ran across his Facebook live. He was doing his mm. little Facebook live videos and he was telling his story about how God literally saved him in the back of a police car. Wow. He had just got mm -hmm. arrested and I believe for the last time. And he was in the back of this police car and he said, Lord, I'm tired. Mm hmm. You know, and, and and he accepted Jesus Christ in the back in the back of that police car in handcuffs. That's amazing. Mm. And so uh, I had already finished my part of the song and uh, the Lord just put it on me right there, said, OK, that's your that's your feature right there. <laughs> wow. God, and I was like, wow. Amazing. So, yeah, yeah. We, we and and we did it like fast. <laughs> that's how you know that's that's God right there when it happened like that. That's how you know God was like, you can't wait on this. I'm putting y'all together for right. a reason. Y'all need, need to make this happen right now. So, and the guy that was in the car with me in the mm -hmm. video, he was actually the one in the car with me in the accident that I had. Oh, okay. Yeah. So oh. we were telling our authentic story, story. for real, for real. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, well. yeah, man. Well, thank God for those ideas. And I know a lot of people, they get they get scared when the ideas is bigger than, than themselves because mm -hmm. they they just, you know, they walk away from it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they just get scared and walk away from it. But I, right. 
I'm, I'm just so grateful to God that I'm able to see my see God's ideas inside Come of me, on, man. you know, and making Come it on, happen. Man. And saying, Come you know on. what, devil, you're not about to get get the best out of me. I'm about to Come go. Come on, man. And we you appreciate know? and we appreciate everything you're doing. You you got you got it, you got it going on. So oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we Yeah, That's yeah. You doing, you doing oh yeah, you doing your thing, man. So right, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, so if if you were offered a record deal by a major record label, mm -hmm. who would you work with? Hmm. Well, I, I ain't gonna lie, Ice Cube mm -hmm. is one of my favorite artists. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've always I've always loved his style and I love mm -hmm. his business acumen too. Very, very uh, much. and I've and I've you know, of course I grew up with Ice Cube. I mean he's a he's about four or five years older than me, but mm -hmm. I grew up with him. So I've been listening to his music since he was a he was a teenager yeah. too. So I've watched him grow. Oh, yeah, me and, too. You, have to so, you know, you feel like he's family, right? You know what I'm saying? So uh he's one of my favorite artists. Uh I would like, I would love to get a Dre production, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Dre production. Um, yeah, man. Um uh, you just naming would, out all these Cali people. <laughs> you, that's funny, Cali? right? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, I would love to collab with Kurt Franklin. That would be oh, dope. Yeah, that would be yeah, dope. And a little rap to it. Yeah. Mm hmm. And uh, man, I just I don't know, man. I'm the type of person. I'm not picky, man. I work with everybody, man. Let's just get this message out here. <laughs> <laughs> I work with. I work with anybody. Like right now, my goal right now. Because I was coming into the industry, well, at least I felt like I was coming into the industry late. Um, I've always been a hip hop fan. And so mm -hmm. when I started doing poetry, I started, uh, guys started putting me around all these local artists, all the local poets, all the local Christian rap artists. And so I became a fan of all these Christian rap artists okay. here, in, here in Houston. So my goal right now is to feature all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, just put them all on there. Yeah, that because be because that I be see dope. because I see the trajectory God is taking me on, hmm. and you want them to join, and you I want them me. to come with. Right, I yeah. want them to come with me. They might not see it, mm -hmm. but man, hey, come on! That's the only, that's the only way you can grow. That's the only way that you grow other people with you. Right, you know? right, Bring and then I, and then and then I grow with them because of course they can you know they're going to teach me some things so yeah man we just we're all helpers of one another man and exactly. i'm just a big believer in that all right poet speak poet, <laughs> speak, poet. I'm gonna spit something for me real quick. okay all right <laughs> let's see here we go uh all right i'm gonna give you this why would you take a chance with your soul like that put a gun to your head wrestle roulette like that Die and find out Christ really did live like that. Man, I'd rather live for God now. Die then see if it was a lot like that. Hmm. So just believe that for you, he died like that. Resurrected on day number three, hands full of power like that. To this day, the world he died for choosing to reject him like that. I choose to believe that he loved me enough to keep me from hell like that. Why live your life in unbelief, die and then regret like that? fire and brimstone while you burn begging for water like that. Mm. Now it's too late to go back and tell everybody it's for real like that. For eternity, you be asking yourself, why didn't I believe like that? Find yourself longing and wishing you can get to heaven like that. Man, hold up. <laughs> Lord, all these people ain't trying to hear all that. Look, can you even imagine what hell must be like? I know. I can't either. So I come to the conclusion that it's just hot like that. Hmm. Tell you what, going to continue to live through Jesus Christ like that. I ain't trying to find out how hot hell is like that. Going to fast like that. Going to pray like that. Going to continue to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world like that. Don't think it's strange wanting in your mind, why he so crumped for Christ like that? Because he saved my soul from that burning hell I just described a while back. Hmm. <laughs> what you mean this is a waste of time? I ain't trying to hear all that. Heart is fixed. Mind made up forever praising God like that. I spit this poetry because he carried the cross on his back like that. And was burned down with the sins of the world, past, present, and future like that. 
but you still want to be puffed up full of pride like that. Mm. Knowing good and well, you be having that dream where you falling like that. But you wake up just before you hit the ground, splat like that. Sitting in bed with a cold sweat, trembling full of fear like that. Mm. At a fork in the road with a decision to make, should I go right or left like that? Well, if you go right, pick up your cross daily and follow him like that. But you a gambling man, so you take that wide road on the left like that. More people over here than over there, but God doesn't deal with logic like that. So what's it going to be? The road less traveled? I'm going to go over here where everybody else is at. Decisions, decisions. Just remember, majority does not rule in this case. In fact, read Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. Jesus lays it out for you real flat. I hope these words pierce your soul and cause your mind to react in a positive light because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Getting mad at me won't do you no good. I'm just a vessel he uses like that. Mm. Don't kill the messenger. Take that up with God because that's just how it is. Yeah. Oh, like that. I like that. Yes, yes, I like that. <laughs> wow. Now, have you ever performed and somebody came up to you after the performance and say you changed their life? Every time. Oh, I can see that happening. I can every, every, see every that. time. And it, and, it, and, it, and I'm very humbled by that because mm -hmm. all I'm doing, all I'm doing, Denise, is telling my story. Yeah. Every Everything, everything that people hear in my music, everything that people hear in my poetry is coming from a place. It's, yeah. it's coming from a place. And, um, uh, Man, all I know, you know how they say real recognize real? Mm -hmm. That's all I know how to be my authentic self. I'm not afraid of what I'm not afraid to share what I've done, what I've been through, who I used to be. It is what it is. And I know it's helping uh, other others. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to being able to visualize um my words uh right. that's that's my next goal is to uh uh you know collab with other uh filmmakers and video videographers to visualize my words right that's what it's all about you know bringing poetry to life mm -hmm. you know with the words that you speak to touch mm -hmm. other people that's going through the same situation and that's pretty much what my platform is here for to help people that's going through the same struggles and to let Come them on. know that you're not alone we're that we're going through the same road together you know it's gonna be Come some on. along the road but we're right. we here to help each other to get over Amen. Those that's right that's yeah. right Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Doing, I, I like that. I like that poetry. Mm -hmm. you know, Appreciate I, I the blessing. To blessing to you. Spoken word because it always it always touched my soul when I go to those go to those shows. So oh, definitely. I love all the poets. I got much Come more on. for y'all. <laughs> Man, Houston has yeah. a Houston has one of the dopest poetry scenes in the in the nation. Yeah, I I I, I can I can honestly say that. We have one of the dopest poetry scenes in the nation. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. I'm glad to be yep. a part of the Houston scene that take place at. So, <laughs> all right, make you feel yeah. good. Like I'm, I'm in here too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like back in the day, it was you know, like the East Coast was pretty big on it because you remember mm -hmm. back in the day they had the the HBO special and it was the the poetry right. jam or something and it was right. in, on the East Coast. Jam, right. So I'm glad to see that Houston's deep. Oh, yeah, Portrait Jam. Yeah, Death Portrait Jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that Houston is really doing it on the portrait oh, scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, now yeah. I want to talk to you about the, the acting scene. So okay. I know you're an actor. I'm okay. Actor. So I got to jump into that. So I wanted to know, um, have you ever worked with a director who tried to give you a part that you really wasn't comfortable with? Yeah, my last, my last play. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which one was that? Uh, so... Uh, and she's a great, and she's a great friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And uh, she reached out to me, and she was like, "Do you act?" And I said, "Yeah." And she said, and she didn't tell me the part, so she knew what she was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said, right. "Okay, I have a part for you. Um, uh, you know, are you interested? In, you know, of course you're gonna say, yeah, you want to act, you want right, right. you know, do your thing." And I knew, I knew, I didn't know her personally, but I knew her 
for her platform. Mm -hmm. So I trusted her with the project that we were going to be involved with because I knew she was a woman of God. So come to find out, I ended up having to play a pedophile. Oh, wow. Was this your first play? No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Uh, this was like my, no, no, probably my, uh, I've done less, I know I've done less than 10. I haven't done a whole lot. Uh, but it, I don't know. It's, you know, it was around, you know, six or seven, somewhere in there. Okay. And so I've had, I had some stage wow. experience. I did yeah. have some stage experience. So I wasn't uncomfortable on the stage. Mm -hmm. But that role, having to go to that dark place, yeah. And really become mentally become that person mm -hmm. just for for a moment. Yeah, that I'm telling you, the rehearsals were grueling. I can only imagine. That. Um, <laughs> and I didn't, and I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't get the character down pat mm -hmm. until a few days before curtains. Oh wow! So you had to jump in there real fast. Yeah, so I worked I worked on him. I worked on him for a minute and he finally he finally came out. He finally <laughs> came he finally came out and uh yeah, the the play it was awesome. I'm Man, sure we did a great job. I'm sure that character actually strengthened your skills, you Oh know. yeah. When you get a challenging role like that, it definitely strengthens you as an actor. Oh yeah, um, mm -hmm. and it and it and it and it teaches you how to go into those certain places in your life to search out um, different areas uh, in your life to where you can tap into that emotion, mm -hmm. or you can tap into that characteristic. Because I feel like all of us have a little bit of everybody in us. <laughs> so, you know, all of us have a little bit of some type of person in us. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he came out and man, it was crazy. That's it was crazy for me to look at. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was a um, it was a uh, child abuse play. OK. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a play um, uh, uh, bringing awareness to child abuse. Yeah. That was a deep topic too. So I had to, uh, I had to, and the young lady that that played the teenage girl, of course, she was in her early twenties, but she looked like she was a teenager. And it was her rehearsals were grueling, man. <laughs> uh, I had to, I had to like, cause we had a scene where I was actually molesting her. Mm. But the the actual molestation, you know, the actual molestation happened off stage. But okay. on stage, I had to grab her, I had to pull mm. her, you know, off stage. Yeah, it was, it was. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was, it was. But but I have to say too, once I got the hang of the character, it was fun. Yeah. And I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure now it's like nothing is too hard for you now. So she, right. Yeah, like, right. Bring, it on, bring on some more challenging roles. Yeah, I didn't think I could do it, but I took on I took on the challenge. I, I you know, I, I I uh you know I've never I've never you know tried to stray away from a challenge. So I said, okay, I'm a and the and and the director, she was looking at me like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't too sure, but she hung in there with me, and I appreciate her hanging in there with me too. Oh, well, that's good. Now, yeah, out, of, so. out of all of your careers, tell us which one has been more challenging. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> teaching. Oh, wow. And we really haven't talked about teaching. Yeah. Teaching has, <laughs> has, teaching has been the most challenging. Um, dealing with, because, because in today's time now, Denise, and you can mm -hmm. attest to this, it's not only, it's not about, it's not solely about bringing forth the lesson anymore. That's true. That's we're, true. We're, we're, we're counselors. <laughs> we're psychologists. It comes. Well, with I know me, I'm dealing with adults. So I know oh, you right. dealing with children. Mm -hmm. You're a babysitter. You're a, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, <laughs> <laughs> the supply, you the supply person, you know, 
Yeah. So, so counsel, right, counselor, yeah. all of that. So yeah. for me, the actual teaching part is the easiest part. Yeah. The 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 challenge the the challenging part is is dealing with the problems. And dealing that, with the personal problems. That, I mean, oh, I've had, yeah. I have a student. I have a student whose son was killed. Mm. Not too long ago, here in Houston, and whose father just died in New York from coronavirus, and all oh of this goodness. happened within like three months. Mm. And so I, I'm just like, man. So it's 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 that's the challenging part because I'm a people person and I love people and I love hard. When I'm seeing people go through things, that's tough. Right. That that's tough. It can be tough because it's like you want to help. Sometimes you don't know how to help. Right. Them. Right. And you know, being in the position that we're in, we have to be careful with helping. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> too much. You right. Know? Right. So, but you know, as teachers, we have a caring heart. We have a giving heart, so right. we can automatically do it. <laughs> right. Right. Um, if we can. Right. Right. Is <laughs> what the word says. If you got it, you know. Yeah. If you got it, you know, provide it. But yeah, we have to be careful. But um, God gives us wisdom mm -hmm. and, and grace to to do what He would want us to do. You know, right. so so uh, it it works out. It works out every time. And a lot of times, all they need is us to be available mm -hmm. to them. That's it. That's so true. Man, I've sat, I've sat, and I've sat and spoke with with many of my students hours after after the class ended. <laughs> they still one next question they just because they just have to get stuff off their chest yeah and i understand that so and they appreciate it you know i've had i've had te i've had students break down and cry in front of mm -hmm. like all kind of stuff man so yeah i think that's that's the most challenging part for me but i love it you know right i that's love it. it's challenging but it's not it's not one of those challenges where it's like oh i don't want to deal with that Mm -hmm. It's one of those challenges you you want to embrace. So yeah, it's yeah. it's one of those that one of those challenges that you're giving back. Right. You're making a difference in somebody's life. Right, right. But that's what God put us on the earth to make a difference in someone's life. And when man, you don't come on, that, complain, you shouldn't complain about nothing. The more of us that realize that, the better the mm -hmm. world will be. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> For those of you guys who are tuning in, we have I'm having an exclusive interview with Jerome Coverton. We're talking about um, balancing all of his careers, being multi-talented. He's a actor. He's a rapper. He's a ESL teacher. Uh, what else? I'm missing something. <laughs> uh, 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 domestic violence poet. activist. And he's, a poet. Yeah, and he's a poet. Oh yes, spoken word artist. So if you, if you guys are tuning in and you guys have any questions to ask him on how he balanced all of this, because I, I still I'm still trying to find this out too. <laughs> you guys can submit your questions in the chat box. Make sure you submit your questions in the chat box. Whatever questions you may have for um for Jerome. So how do you balance all of your careers? How do you uh, even have time to do this? <laughs> this is probably a, this is probably this is probably an answer that's probably not sufficient, but <laughs> one day at a time. Yeah. One day at a time. Um, every day, every day is, is, uh, every day is something new. And at, at the end of the day, and this, I know this will help a lot of people. And this is something that, <laughs> again, I'll go back to teaching. Mm -hmm. There's a particular, there's a particular, because I teach English as a second language. So I'm teaching adults who come into the country uh -huh. uh, for the first time, or maybe they've even been here for a while, but mm -hmm. I'm teaching them the English language in such a way to where they're also learning our culture as Americans, right? Okay. So one of the subjects was prioritizing. <laughs> That's something that you need to work on yourself, I'm sure. <laughs> And it helped. And it helped me. It helped you. <laughs> now, I've been in situations like they're teaching. I end up learning something about myself while I'm teaching my students. Come on, man. A teacher so, moment. <laughs> come on, man. So one day, like I say, one day at a time, and prioritize your 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 prioritize your day. Mm -hmm. 
and and prioritize your your gifts. Yeah. What is more important for you to do right now? Mm-hmm. And what can wait? Right. And you really have to be honest with yourself and cuz you're anxious to do everything. Yeah. You're anxious to do everything. <laughs> those of those of you artists out there who are multi-talented and you got 10 businesses. <laughs> you yeah. know, you want to do everything right now. You cannot. You only have two hands, two feet, 10, you know. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't do everything right now. You have to be honest with yourself in what you can do now and what you can do later. And that's the and hard really, part. Right mm-hmm. And you got to sit down and take the time to mm-hmm. to to uh, bring yourself to a peaceful place and say, OK, I can wait on this. Let me do this right now. Right. That's so true. And Just, that's it. That's that's really yeah. how, how you do it. So for me, the acting, <clears throat> honestly, the acting is on the back burner right now. <laughs> you have to put uh, it on the back burner. <laughs> yeah, the acting is on the back burner right now, not only because of COVID-19, but because where my heart is right now, because our, my multi-talented people can attest to this too. You have past, you have a passion, you have a burning desire for something and so there's that one thing out of all the things you love to do that you burn that burns in you well that's what you need to be doing right now (laughs) whatever's burning you up right now that's what you need to do and you need to prioritize that and for me right now that's the my music my rap music uh now Mm-hmm. No, go ahead. <clears throat> now I was gonna say because I'm up, you know, and that's why I woke up late this morning. I was up writing music. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just, I'm on it. <laughs> when it comes to the art, you know, the art, art stuff is like you'd be up late because you have on, too much passion in it, and you don't care how long, how long you stay up to do. Come on, man. You can't yeah. sleep. It won't let you rest. You got to get, yeah. you got to get it off. I got to get this off of me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Come on. Come when on, I man. Get, the other day, I to get it off of me. It's hard. It's hard. That's you got to get off. You know, for you to get some rest. That's the only mm-hmm. way that you mm-hmm. do your night by letting it out. And that's why we need God. You'd be like, okay, Lord, I got to mm-hmm. go to sleep. Lord, right. give me peaceful rest. That's where you, that's and those are the times when you pray, mm-hmm. because wisdom will tell you, okay, look, you got this burning desire, but you need to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you go to sleep, or your you, body will shut down. Then you won't have no more dreams. <laughs> yeah, you'll, yeah, you'll forget all about. You'll forget all about that you have to sleep real quick. You so, like, oh, that, you put that on. You put sleep on the back burner real quick. Before so you know. at the end of the day, my my two pieces of advice for the multi talented and 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 how I get, you know how I how I deal with that to answer your question is, uh, to prioritize everything, and take life one day at a time. Like yeah. I've had to learn that. I don't worry yeah. about yesterday, and I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. So I'm gonna deal with what what what's in front of me today, right? Yeah, and that's it. That, that that's the only way that you won't get overwhelmed by doing it like that. I'm you telling you, that's it. Because <laughs> yeah. it will over, it can overwhelm you. Oh yeah. Because what God gives us is bigger. Like I said, it's bigger than us, and it's so mm-hmm. big we feel like we can't handle it. So if we break it down in daily in daily chunks and daily activities. Then we can tackle it like that. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So what are you working on now? Okay. So what I'm working on right now is uh my my next project that's coming out is entitled You Think You Know Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think you, you know, know me. But you because, don't know me. <laughs> exactly. You really don't. Yeah. Uh <clears throat> I know people are. I know people are. I know some people are probably asking. Okay, is he a is he a poet? Is he a rapper? Is he an actor? Like, what is he? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing something. And I'm like, I'm doing what I'm doing. What he want me to do? I'm doing what yeah. God want me to do. Period. 
I like that. As I'm long as you get the message. I'm going to use that in one of my posts. <laughs> Come on, man. As long as you get the message. Yes. The, exactly. the message is, the message is repent, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Allow him to be the Lord of your life, meaning you do what it, what he say, when he say, how he say do it. And you be at peace with that in your heart. Mm -hmm. And you lean not to your own understanding mm -hmm. of what's going on in life. That's my favorite and scripture. And you let him, uh, you let him order your steps in your life. Mm -hmm. That's why nobody can put me in a box. Cause yeah. I just do what he tell me to do. <laughs> exactly. That's how you can. He do. tell me to act one day and put out a rap song the next day. <laughs> that's what God tell you to do. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. That's, that's it. So where can we find your social media? Um. Uh, let's see. So Twitter is different from everybody else. So Twitter, my Twitter is a uh, poetic, P-O-E-T-I-C, the number four, Christ, uh, poetic, the number four, Christ. That's Twitter. Everywhere else, Jay Speaks the Poet. All right. Now, before I let you go, I have one more segment to add. And it's Come on. called, um, but thank God. So I will read a sentence and you will have to fill in the blank, Okay. Okay. So I was going to do blank, but thank God I'm a Christian. Ooh. <laughs> I was going to do blank, but thank God I'm a Christian. Uh, mm. Something recent or uh, in, the, in the past? Yeah, no, oh, just this. Bad. Okay. Yeah. Shoot, I was going to. Uh, I was going. <laughs> uh oh. He about to spill it all out. <laughs> Come on, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. Let it out. <laughs> oh, I ain't going to lie. I was going to go off. I was going to go. I remember one day I was going to go off on on uh, on uh, on uh, one of my students in class. I was going to go off. Mm. And I had to hold my I had to hold my peace. And my and my other students in the class saw my facial expressions. They saw I was going there. Yeah. Hold your peace. Like, <laughs> right? I'm trying to do it in the camera. <laughs> like you got to do it more but, detail, uh, but I handled it in a peaceful manner, and uh, because he was, you know, the the particular student was disrupting my class. But man, yeah, 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 yeah. I was gonna go off. <laughs> I know yeah, you I was gonna go off. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So that's that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I needed was just one. <laughs> There you guys have it. Thank God you're a Christian. <laughs> Once Amen. Again, right. Amen. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jerome, for being our special guest. We pray that God will continue to bless you in everything that you set your mind to do. Thank you for having me. My no, pleasure. No. It was an honor and a pleasure. Thank you so much. Well, you have all of our support here at the Nasa Christian Me Show. Blessings. Blessing you too. You have my support as well. Awesome. Do you have any shout outs? Oh man, come on man. Shout out H Town. Uh, uh shout out uh man poet the 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 whole Houston poetry scene. Um I love all you guys, even though I may not know half of you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love I love all my, my my poetry family. Uh shout out uh man, shout out the body of Christ, man. Uh okay. man, let's 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 get on let's get on the wall. And let's get out here and, and, and shine our light That's to right. the world in the midst of this COVID-19 situation. If anybody's supposed to look different right now, we as the body of Christ are supposed to be shining the brightest for the world to see how, you know, we should be conducting ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, in the midst of this situation. Man. Uh, man. I, I know so many people. <laughs> oh, shout out, uh, shout out, speak out, uh, speak Yay. out, speak out, Inc. Uh, it's the domestic violence organization I'm a part of. Um, you can find us on uh, speak out, Inc. Uh, dot org. It's speak out, uh, Inc. Dot org. Uh, shout out, uh, Cheryl Latham for that. And uh man, what else? Oh, I am gospel. Shout out my I am gospel crew. Uh yeah, that's the that's the uh 
little label I'm a part of here. Uh, that's IamGospel.us. You can find us on IamGospel.us. Uh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, you, yeah, you list a whole lot of people, so I'm sure they appreciate that shout out. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I would like to thank everyone who tuned in today. If you guys are interested in being a guest, sponsor, or even like to submit your music, go to our Facebook page, The Not So Christian and Me Show. Also on Instagram, The Not So Christian and Me Show. Until next time, remember that no matter what you're going through, God will see you through. Stay blessed up. All Amen. Right, bye. God bless. Bye. Peace.